Are you moving out of your home and you'd really like it to be a very smooth transition? Well, if so, I'm going to give you a few tips to make sure that happens. Just remember that on closing day, after all the paperwork is signed by the buyers and the sellers, then the, you know, the title of the house transfers from the owners, the sellers to the buyers. So all of your belongings need to be completely out of the house, you know, before closing happens so that after everything's signed, the buyer can just, you know, go ahead and move straight into the house. Um, so make sure that you look at the contract and, you know, if, if you're supposed to leave the washer, the dryer, the refrigerator, or whatever appliances or whatever else that you agree to leave, make sure that those items are left because that is part of the contract and more than likely a home, you know, final walkthrough is going to be done and the buyers are going to expect those items to be there. Also, if there was anything, you know, in the contract that they or that you agreed to make sure was, you know, taken away from the house. For example, you know, some people that don't have children, if you had like a swing set or, you know, a lot of things like that, you know, they may not want that if they don't have children and they may want you to go ahead and remove it because it's just in their way. So make sure you remove any items that you're supposed to remove and make sure that you declutter everything, you know, you know, don't leave any clutter. Um, some people think they're helping by leaving paint cans or, you know, various items like that. And some, I mean, you need to ask ahead of time if, if, if you plan to leave that to see if these buyers want it or not. Some people like to get those, you know, the extra paint. Other people just think it's just junk and clutter and they want it gone because they're going to, you know, paint the house a different color anyway. Um, also, make sure that you clean, you know, clean the house. Um, at least, you know, do a you know, broom sweep the home, you know, mop it, um, vacuum it. Make sure, like, the refrigerator's cleaned out, the stove, the microwave, the bathtub. I mean, if you were buying a house, you don't want to, you know, move into a house that was just gross or someone hadn't cleaned. So if you really, really wanted to be nice, you could professionally clean it, but at least make sure the house is clean. Um, and, you know, if you really, really want to be nice, you could do like a final touch, you know, congratulating them on their new home. Maybe tell a little bit about the home and its features and what you liked about it. And, you know, I mean, that's just the extra touch if you wanted, wanted something super special. It's your just a few tips to make to you know to ensure that your move and the transfer of you know of, from one owner to the next goes as smoothly as possible um, and for more you know for all things real estate make sure you follow me and I'm going to have more information on this topic on my website which is Auburn Opelika AL real estate.com and I'm Laura Sellers with I'm a realtor at Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Preferred Real Estate in Auburn Alabama and if you're buying or selling a house in the area I would be absolutely thrilled to assist you and I've lived in the area for over 35 years and I've got primarily a banking and um, real estate background so I would love for you to put my education and experience to work for you.